Hey everyone, this is Stephen from R Config again. Uh, just want to do a short video on how time works in R Config today. It's really important that we that we know how time works in R Config. It's really important that we know when configurations have been downloaded, when certain events happen in the activity log, and how that relates to where we are in in the world and the time zone. I'm very aware that you know many of our customers and users have global teams, so it's really important that we understand when events happen. So it's really hard to do time for app for globally distributed applications, um, so we try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, if I go to the dashboard here, so I'm just going to run through kind of three or four things here real quick. So right here on the dashboard, as of uh, version 6.0, I think, um, we can see our time zone settings surface to us right here. We can see our server time zone, which is probably the most important value we need to know. We can see our PC time zone, which is another useful value because that tells us the difference between us and the server in terms of in terms of uh, hours. And then we actually have the server time here, which is kind of useful. Now, this isn't a live clock. So if I just do a quick refresh here, you can see it uh, counting up. OK, so we're assuming this server is based on the west coast of the US, uh, which is eight hours behind uh, GMT or UTC. Um, this means that all events that take place on the server happen in this time zone. OK, so I'm going to demonstrate real quick. So if I go to devices, if I go to router and just going to do a quick download. So my current time, Irish time is 1808. That's 608 p.m. So if I do a download now, and bear in mind I'm based in Ireland, so we're going to see this downloaded eight hours behind our current time. Okay, so this is correct, right? This is eight hours behind current Irish time. If I quickly change my time zone settings, I'm going to change it to Dublin, and we can see that's changed right away. I'm going to pop back to this a second. There's a known issue here. I want to mention real quick so if i go to routers and i'm going to do another download we're going to see the new times change to 1808 okay so the events happen based on the server's time zone okay so that's really important to note the next thing to note is we surface we use to surface um these events in terms of relation to ourselves so five minutes ago, two hours ago, that kind of stuff. We we stopped doing that. It's been very confusing for some users. So we're just surfacing the actual time of the event as it relates to the server time zone. What's useful about this, however, is it's locale based, based on your browser. So this is currently uh, set to English UK, I believe, which is date first, month, second, year, third, and then the time. So I'm just going to demonstrate this really quick. I'm going to go into edge of settings here. I'm going to change uh the primary language from english uk to english us and we'll see if i just refresh the page we'll see then that that the daytime is surfaced in you know us locale which is month first date second year third and the short version of the year so that that's should be convenient for for many users i'm just going to flip this back the last thing to mention so if we if we understand those things, we understand all events happen in the time zone where the server should be located. Or if you want to keep everything to UTC, keep everything to UTC. That's a choice you have too. Okay. And you can do that in here um, just by selecting London. Let's say GMT London. Okay. Now the last thing to mention is some users have had an issue changing the, the time zone. Um, when they click a time zone, uh, an error will come back saying there's uh, permissions right into the file, or in older versions, they'll just get a 422 error um, or a 500 error saying it, you know, and if you look in the browser's dev tools, you'll see some error saying I can't write the file. In that case, you do probably want to log into the server, open the .env file, and edit, edit the .env file directly. Time zone settings are stored in the .env file. It's really important that it's accurate for your systems. And that's just a workaround that'll be mostly for Ubuntu type systems. So there you have it guys. Um just a quick overview on time for or config. Hopefully that clears up any ambiguity for new users and um that will apply to uh, V6 Professional and V6 Core also. Okay, so thanks a lot. See you next time.